Hey guys, Steve from Wiltshire Campus here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a walk around and review of my Berghaus Air 4 and porch. Uh, stay tuned, keep watching and I'll tell you more. Okay, so starting on the outside of the tent, this is the actual porch. So this attaches to the roof of the tent. I haven't quite got this uh, set up properly as it is in my garden. But you get the general idea, it's supposed to be lined up properly. So coming around to the, this is the actual Air 4. Which is the, uh, this is the side door. I can actually lift this door up to make a porch using these king poles. They are bought separately, they don't come in a tent unfortunately, but it would be nice. So coming round to the back of the tent, you can just see inside. I'm not sure, no, it's a bit rubbish. Luminous guy lines, so you can see your tent in the dark. Nice luminous Berghaus traditional luminous stripe. I keep kicking the tripod, sorry about that. So it does come with uh, a back large vent, um, which you can have open. It's best to have it open as much as you can. Uh, obviously you can just loosen the guy ropes up or down, which will close that vent via uh, Velcro tabs. So moving round again, the other side to where the porch attaches. I have used some pegs, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Just to keep that from flapping. Because as I mentioned before, it's not quite uh, situated on the tent properly. But when I do go to a campsite, I always make sure that it is. I think this flap here is supposed to line up with that beam. So that tent has a hydrostatic head. Ugh, get my word out. Of 6,000 mil. millimeters I should say so this is the other side of the porch as you can see the porch is actually colossal it's taller than the actual tent itself so I'll just take you inside this is the inside obviously what would be the outside of the Air 4 side door again I haven't guided it out properly because of the porch but you do have this nice rain brow which stops the water from coming in. Word of advice, I have actually had to replace this pole, the whole thing, because this is actually a very tight, tight fit to get on there. Nice big side door, big window. which is pretty cool. I'll now move on to the porch. So looking at the front of the porch from the outside, uh, we've got a nice big door. Again, you can use uh, king poles to hold that up to make a nice big canopy to sit under. Um, I, I do use this porch for cooking and sitting in very very roomy as I mentioned before it is um, a bit taller than the uh, the actual tent uh, it's a universal porch so it will sit over all of the Berghaus air range uh, be in the air for six eight uh, ranges and the extra large models as well so let's move into the porch 
as you can see this porch is phenomenally big I mean I'm only five foot seven and I have acres of space above my head so it comes with four windows each one you can have half open all the way open or closed this one's closed but it's a good size it has these toggles which you can situate the uh, little buttons there for ease of use you can have it half obviously and all the way lets in a lot of light I've got to say it's a very light porch I've obviously got my Adventure Edge table that's from Audi bought that a few years back and I love it very very strong durable I bought a uh, come there uh, sorry cutlery set from B&M for seven pounds 99 I think it was so yeah very roomy very spacious it does come with a ground sheet so you can have an extra floor I don't generally bother with it because the ground tends to stay quite dry in the summer months anyway but it does save a lot of mud and dirt you can take your shoes off in here and keep a nice clean tent that is my camper fold-out table which you can see fits very very easily in here it's a great place to store your muddy boots and things um, just general storage you can sit out here as a family and eat drink and be very very merry so that is the Berghaus Air porch couple more things sorry there is a I've used this zippy thing as a lantern holder so I've put a carabiner clip in there between the two zips and hung a lantern you have got another one this side as well but I don't generally use that one You'd inflate the beams, I'd say, um, to about 5 psi, which is a normal, uh, normal inflation for the Berghaus tent. Um, even at 5 psi, they're very, very, very solid, and they don't really move. So yes, that is the. Berghaus porch. I've also toggled a bungee cord so that fits actually quite well. If you get the right size one they're only a couple of quid and they fit into the window toggles on the beams. So like I've done here you can hang up your kitchen towel or you can hang utensils with hooks on, you can buy the metal hooks and hang those on great for hanging stuff up or uh, like damp tea towels etc so most of the windows in the tent have actually got the same distance for these so you can actually hang them in the tent as well which I'll take you inside the tent in a moment so there we go that's the uh, that's the porch stay tuned and we will go inside the air four Looking at the air four from the side door. Nice big outside door. This is a nice fly mesh. It does have the uh, nice Berghaus logo on it. I think that's probably to aid you in seeing it. <laughs> seeing the door. Okay, so let's go into the Berghaus air four. Quite spacious inside. Let's still see the uh, side door from the inside. Again, four nice big windows, which you can have half open, all the way closed, or all the way open. The little triangle windows are quite good. They let in lots of light. 
quite spacious above my head. Like I said, I'm five foot seven and you could easily fit a, a six foot person in this tent without any problem. You can get the uh, Berghouse specially made carpets. So what I've actually done as a cheap hack is I have bought these mattress clips. These are from Amazon. Can't quite focus you, sorry. Yeah, they are from Amazon, they clip onto your mattress, but I use them to go behind the beams to hold the carpet in place. These burp chairs are from Audi for $12.99, bought those last year. They may not still be on sale, but they might be again later in the year. We're only in uh, April now. Lantern hanging point. So I have used the uh, electric cook-up Velcro tabs just to run my electric lead over the beam so it stays off the floor and out of my way. Moving into the bedroom pod easily fits the Audi best way uh, inflatable bed which is the electric self inflating one. Spacious and roomy, nice and dark so you get a better night's sleep and longer lay-ins, yay. Another lantern hanging point. It does come with the attachment for a divider, so you can have a two bedroom, but I don't really bother with that because it's not really worth it for me. It's only ever me and usually a friend that goes camping, so we don't really need it. Now the bedrooms, they come with, on the door, you can have it so that you have ventilation or privacy. You can have it done up or halfway down. You can tie them up so that they are stored away by these toggles. Lots and lots of storage in this tent. Five little pockets there, six little pockets down there. Uh, yep, you've got some bedroom pockets there. This pod will probably fit two double beds, but this one, this particular bed is actually quite massive. So you'd be hard pressed to get two doubles in here, to be quite honest. You might do, you might not, depends on the size. Definitely get four singles or four sim mattresses. Bedrooms clip onto the floor. They can be easily removed. Just to make some more space if you prefer or you can wash them. The doors fold into these clever little pockets. which is awesome. Very strong, very strong beams. Again, inflated to five PSI. I will do a separate video on the bits and bobs I have in the tent. It's a lot to go through. So on the main outside door, also comes with a, a window that you can have either way you choose. Again, half up or down. And there we have it. This is the Berghaus Air 4. It is quite roomy, but in my honest opinion, you'd be squeezed to get four people in here. Perfect for couples, single, 
parents maybe with a child and the dog too not forgetting the dog so that is the Burgas Air 4 and porch see you again so that was the uh, review of the Burghouse Air Forward porch. I will do some more videos soon of uh, the cooker table, uh, the best way bed, the camper diddy heater, which um, is quite an awesome heater. Just tips and tricks of what I use for tables, etc., in the tent, and how I rate things. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Thanks.